how do you create wealth during challenging times? Now, there's a lot of ways to interpret that. So when we say challenging times, uh, I'm going to interpret it as like the recession, industry downturns, that kind of stuff. And Charlie, I'm going to let you answer any way you would like, because I'm going to say this is not financial advice. This is just our opinions. So dive Absolutely. into this however you'd like. This is an interesting question. I really like this question because um, I think there is a general mentality that is portrayed by uh, media or other people or ingrained to us is like, okay, when the markets are doing well or when the economy is growing or when GDP is up, you have permission to make money. Yep. Congratulations. And if we're in a recession or there's a downturn, no, 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 you have to lose money. Like it couldn't possibly be anything else but that. And I think a lot of people carry that in their wiring. So even if they're not invested in the share market, if the share market's doing well, that has somehow gives them permission, well, I can do well in business, yep. even though it has nothing to do with it. Or, oh, over here, this thing has it. And I just think that that is completely false. That's not how things work. So um, my take to this question is I think one of the things we have to be really careful of is how we wire what's going on. And the way I like to think about it personally is actually around the idea of like these are just different times. So in when uh, the environment is this, I do this. And when the environment is this, I do that. And I'll give you an example is like, if it's summer, I'm going to use air conditioning. Yep. If it's winter, I'm going to use a heater. Like in both cases, I can be comfortable at a temperature. It's just that the methods and tactics I would use would be different in that time. So I think being able to like wire yourself that way and have that mentality is, is really important, like really important. And then the second thing is like as a business owner, I think you have to develop the skills and these are business owner skills is going, well, when it when this environment is here, again, thinking of it like weather or seasons, what's suitable for me right now? Yep. Where should I play? So uh, hypothetically, and I, I mean, I don't think anyone's declared one of these. If a recession is here or coming into that, what are the moves to make that are right for my business? So maybe that's developing, uh, and again, I love this one. If you're, if you're an accountant right now, hypothetically, is like maybe consider developing a service, which is like how to be uh, more diligent with your finances. Yep. Let me show you how to cut costs right now so that you can make a saving. So you're going to pay me $1,000, but I'm going to save you $2,000. Like what a great offer in a recession. Yep. I just think that's mentality, right? But that's just like different environment where it's like in the other environment, that same accountant might be okay, well, if you're on fire, let me show you what to do with all that money you're making or how to do better on tax might be a better uh, offer there. And that's all hypothetical. Please don't be an accountant on here and actually run those offers and say Charlie made them up. And <laughs> like, I, I just more like really think of the mentality that comes through these things. And I, in everyone, and I know we just spoke about this on a previous episode, but if you're in hospitality, like last time in 2008 when there was a big recession, McDonald's did really well. Yeah. And it's like I look at that and go, okay, well, if you're a high-end restaurant, what offers could you put together where you can be more like McDonald's or create things that are suitable for that environment? So that's what I really think about is like how do you build uh, wealth in challenging times? It's like how do I stay cool in summer? How do I stay warm in winter? Like yep. there's an absolute mentality and skill set that goes with it. There are opportunities in every environment, all of them. And I think that that last point is perfect because that was exactly what I was going to say as step one is just acknowledging whether it's creating wealth in your business or creating wealth personally, there is always someone who is winning in every market, always. And if you start understanding that as a mentality and start like just removing these concepts of whatever the news is saying or this, this fear mongering that really goes on, like it, like I was at a catch up and it was just, everyone was like, oh man, crypto's down 30% and the market's down 30%. Like, I'm just going to sort of sit here and just wait it out and everything. And I'm just like, where did you get that mentality from? As opposed wait, to going- Must have worked at Kodak for sure. <laughs> <Black Master. laughs> um, and I'm like, where did you get that from? Because instead, just think about it and ask yourself a slightly different question, which is not, oh, wow, the markets have gone down. Is this the bottom and should I buy? It's going, what are the smartest people who are making the most money doing now? What variables have changed, right? Like, what? How do I understand it all? And this, the second point that I was going to put on top of this is, for me personally, in challenging times, the first thing that I always make sure is working is the business. Before I look at any other personal wealth, any things, it is: is my business going to weather this storm? I don't care if it's making good money and putting cash in a bank account, and that cash is going to sit there 
during challenging times, as long as my foundation, which is always my business, is rock solid, is going to become more profitable by cutting out expenses. And to the episode that we just recorded previously, it was as long as we're innovating as well so we can continue growing, et cetera. Once that is sort of solidified, great, now I can start looking at other opportunities. But like your business has to be the number one focus before you start looking over the fence to say, oh, is there something else? Uh, depending on, like again, your sort of situation, that is exactly where I personally go, is go, is the business still locked in? Yep, great. Now I can look elsewhere. I love that so much. And when you think about it, it's like that's the thing where you can have the most active and quick response, right? It's, of course. Yeah, so it's like it makes sense. And I'm like I, I will sit there as like how good would it feel? Pretend that it is a recession, right, hypothetically. Like markets are down, properties exploded, all of it, right? And you're sitting there and you've got a really well-running business. You're now in a position to confidently capitalise on those opportunities. Yep. I really look at it. But imagine if you didn't and imagine that you focused in on like, oh, what crypto, what share, what something am I going to buy? And your business is sitting there burning. <laughs> and so you have to win on those opportunities in order to save the business. Like that, that does not work at all. Not at all. I think I was very lucky, which um, I believe you've been exposed to this as well, is like one of the people I very heavily respect is uh, Keith Cunningham. Yep. I, uh, I really do. And one of the things he just like repeatedly said and really embedded in me is like, how you manage your business in the in the good times will show in the bad times. Yep. And he's and I, I think I've heard that so many times where even in like the uh, recent years, which have been extremely good, I've been conservative. Yep. I've been making sure I have buffers in place and good amounts of liquidity and like I was ready to weather the storm before it came, yep. if it comes. So I think there's a, a mentality again that comes to this is like there are ways of, I suppose, de-risking so that when change happens, when the seasons change, you don't necessarily get caught out. And you'll see again that I make sure how I frame it is season change. Yep. And that's it. That's even for me, like I'm, I'm working on my own mentality as I go through these. I think it's really important to think of it in that way. Yeah, and it, you mentioned an, an interesting point there, which I think a lot of people probably haven't thought about. Like we were talking about the potential of a recession and the markets being impacted like months ago. Right. And we even talked about like, what are we personally doing? It's like, okay, well, we're going to start stacking some chips. We're going to start doing these things just because it looks like it might be some uncertain times. And like, we even said, like, okay, well, risk factor is great. I might miss an opportunity or two because I'm stacking some chips just in case it happens. However, if it happens, great, we're going to be in a good position to sort of pounce on some of these things. And so, like, that point around being so aware, not when it's already in the news because that's too late. Not when everybody and your next door neighbor and their dog are saying, oh my gosh, the markets are down, et cetera. Like, when they're saying that, it's, it's too late to start going, how am I going to sort of factor this thing in? You need to be aware of all of these kind of trends and a potential challenging times before they kind of hit, right? And that comes back to making sure that you're up to date with the right information, what is the, the saying? If it bleeds, it leads. The news is always the laggards. By the time that the news talks about a suburb to buy investment properties in or a stock that you should have bought, it is too late. <laughs> like You do not get in on those places, which means that by the time, if you're consuming your information via a major news outlet, you are already behind the eight ball. Like you, it, It's already too late. You are already now reacting to something that's already happened as opposed to preparing for something that might happen. Can I make a, a statement here? And I'd love to know if you agree or disagree. If you find yourself in a season or an environment where you don't know how to make money, right, which is the idea that maybe you only know how to make money in a boom and you never know how to make money in a bust, why not just take complete responsibility for that and go, hang on, this is an opportunity for me to develop skills to be successful in this environment. Like maybe the first step is that for everyone. And I think that, that goes back to that mentality point of uh, most people through these times batting down the hatches because that's what my parents, like my parents did the same. Oh man, as going through a recession, great. How do we cut spending? How do we sort of not go out for dinner that much? And it's, it's much more of what you call like a defense mechanism as opposed to an offense mechanism. Oh my gosh, now I'm getting attacked. How do I defend off that attack as opposed to going, what's my counterattack going to be? Like, yes, I need to play some kind of defense, but no, 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 no. This is also a time to win. And it's, it's unfortunate that it's kind of really ingrained in us. Right, like it's either the economy is going up or the economy is going down, which means that we're either trying to win or we're either trying to defend off loss, as opposed to going no, no, no. There's, there's ways to win the entire way through all of these seasons, to use your word, 
it is just now the opportunity is different. It might have been property before, and now it might be shares. It might have been shares before, and now it might be like crypto. It might have been crypto, it might be property. Like you just need to understand that and then understand the sub layers to go, okay, well, not all opportunities are going to win. Wholeheartedly. And business as well, right? Same thing applies. Hey, fellow business owner, if this topic and value packed a short video has resonated with you at all, and you want to dive deeper into being a full stack business owner, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.